our damn fates is nearly finished its release cycle we've had a bunch of products released from palladium fates recently today i'm going to be opening up some whilst talking about collecting and investing mainly in palladium fates but in today's product which we're going to get into in just a moment one thing i will say about palladium fates is it is great fun to open but is it really worth collecting and investing especially in the normal tins when I'm talking about normal tins, we are talking about things like this, the Charizard tin. Now, this is actually the US version. Now, in the UK, we actually have smaller versions of this. This does come with five booster packs and, of course, the promo. The UK version has the same, but one less pack. Four packs comes with the promo. Now, there are three different variants of the tin. Um, I'm just going to show you the Charizard one because it's the one that's got the most value. The other two, let's be honest, aren't really worth it. You've got the Great Task and the Iron Treads. Okay, sure. Very similar to when they brought out Hidden Fates. You have the Raichu and the Gyarados and the Charizard Tin. The Charizard Tin by far is the most valuable. I mean, we've been seeing Hidden Fates tins for Gyarados and Raichu going for like 45, you know, 40 to 45 for the tin, whereas Charizard's like 60. So yeah, the Charizard is a lot more. Right now, this is going for, you know, way more than the others. I think the others are going for around about 25 for five packs, which is pretty decent. You know, you're looking at about $5 or £5 per pack plus the promo but the charizard one is going for slightly more over here it's around about 35 pounds about 10 pounds more for the charizard is the promo worth it i think this is actually going to be a better product to keep sealed specifically the charizard one but i'm going to open it up today um i do have one sealed for myself just one it just why not uh, i used to actually collect hidden fates tins and i used to have like 10 of each tin and then I just we end up ripping them up. You know, we end up opening them and using them for the streams. But today we're gonna to be opening up the Charizard tin, the Great Tusk tin, and the Iron Treads tin. 15 packs in total. We're gonna to be talking about how great these are gonna to be to open and whether or not you should keep any of these sealed. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so we have the Charizard promo here. And of course, Charizard is pretty nice. This is the best one. I'm, I, I don't really care, to be honest, about the other two. They're not really worth anything. So, Charizard, though, really nice. Uh, even in the Japanese Shining Treasure, this is actually quite a hard card to pull. But it is a promo, so it is worth a lot less money. Uh, a lot of it going around. To me, I actually prefer this than the Charizard GX that we got from Hidden Fates Tins. This is very, very nice, shiny. I do rate it. Then we got the packs. So, we have 15 packs. I've got three tins. We'll be getting into these. We'll be talking about Palais and Fates and just th all things in general. Let's get into it. So, Palais and Fates, I'm enjoying the set. I'm opening up a lot. If you haven't seen me open up ETBs, mini tins, and the triple pack blisters, go and check those videos out, guys. They are great pulls, let's be fair. But definitely a lot. There's a lot of cards I'm still missing from this set. Now, the tins. I don't really rate collecting tins that much, just in general. Now, I think these specific set tins, like we've been seeing with these holiday sets, I think are fine, let's be honest. I mean, like I said, I did actually collect a lot of Hidden Fates tins. Shining Fates, I didn't, even though I love Shining Fates. I do think they're good value for money, though. Um, Shining Fates, not so much. I mean, it's a you know, pretty poor set now, but back in the day, it was really, really good. I do think these are the same. Like I said, in the UK, you can get different version ones. We get like the four uh, pack versions. I mean, we can kind of buy both, but either one, I think, is fine, of course. Um, we have struck out. Oh, we actually did get a pull. I missed it. We got the Baba Stiff. We actually did get a pull. I I, I I got them mixed up there. Yeah, so like I said, not bad. We got a pull there. But yeah, I think the, here's the thing. You know, are these tins worth it? I think the Hidden Face ones are pretty good. Uh, Charizard is the best one. And I do believe, again, the Charizard is going to be the best one. If you're going to go and keep it sealed for the long term, opening, just go for the cheaper ones. And if you really want to have the Charizard one, then go for the Charizard one. But if I'm being honest, Go for the cheaper option, which is the way to go uh, with these products. And like I say, I think, you know, the average pack of Palais and Fates right now, you can pick them up for a pretty decent price, anywhere between like 4 50 and £5 slash dollars a pack. I mean, like I say, these tins were, I think they were like 25 each. Now, you can buy like bundles of three to make it a bit cheaper, but if you're looking at about £5 a pack. It is on the more pricey side. We opened up the mini tins where they were like 4 50 which was a little bit cheaper. Yeah, five pounds. Eh, it's not too bad. I mean, I do expect it to drop the more it comes out. Clod Sire, not the greatest one right there, uh, but I do expect you know them to drop, especially when the booster bundles come out. Now, we'll be, I'll be opening up the booster bundles because the thing is with the booster bundles is they are like the cheap alternative to ETBs. Now, that was the case when it came to things like 151. However, 
they are not the best to uh, crack open, to be fair. A151, you know, we're looking at $40 for a booster bundle, and that's, like, super-duper expensive. And these cards are, like, sticking together. What the hell's going on? We do have the Baby Shiny. See, look, I nearly missed the Baby Shiny there. Although, we are getting um, pretty much all dark-based Pokemon. That's kind of interesting. I think this set will go down as one of the better um, Skull and Violet era sets for the moment. Now, don't forget, we're kind of in like the early stages of Skull and Violet, and we're coming into Temporal Forces, right? Which is kind of like, is the same number set as Battle Stars. Now, don't forget, in Sword and Shield, when Battle Stars came, not the greatest, but it did introduce alt arts, which changed the landscape of Sword and Shield. Uh, I, as far as I can see, there isn't going to be anything um, that will change the course uh of skull and violet like there's no alt arts that's coming in temporal forces that i've seen so far uh we are having a return of some of these really bright vibrant like pink cards that are coming which are yeah kind of interesting i think they're called ace cards or something like that i haven't really looked much at temporal forces but right now i think uh you know palais and fate i mean of course 151 is an absolute juggernaut um i think that's just gonna be an absolute powerhouse moving forward i kind of feel like this is up there though this to me uh, you know, it's pretty good. I know it is a holiday set. I do still feel like Palais and Fates, uh, you know, Palais Evolved and Paradox Rift are the best ones so far. Obsidian Flames and Scarlet and Violet Base are kind of a bit, a bit naff, a bit boring, not not that exciting. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think people are getting a bit sick and tired of Charizard, to be honest. Um, the pull rates are very good in Obsidian Flames, but the set's so small and so easy. You know, it's not that valuable, not that, you know, high demand to crack open. We do get another baby shiny. Haven't had this one yet. Uh, anything else behind it? Nothing so far. Uh, my chase card of this set is the God of War. I haven't pulled it. I haven't actually pulled myself any of the special illustration rares yet. Uh, we did actually pull the God of War recently. Uh, the shiny Mew and the Charizard are the two biggest money cards in the set. They have been dropping in value. I mean, Charizard now has dropped down to about 140, 130. I did actually go as high as like 180, 190, so has been dropping. Uh, we've got the Big Bird coming in, Full Art Shiny, Ostrich, uh, and the Mimikyu coming in right there. I think I've pulled this one before. Uh, but yeah, the Charizard, I mean the Mew, sitting anywhere between 90 to 100, has dropped. Went up to like 130, 140. I think I actually might actually went even higher than that. I think it was pushing close to 150. And I think it's just because of the releases of the products. You know, we've just had the mini tins drop, these tins drop. And you also have the premium collection boxes, which I will be opening up in the next video. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that one. Because we're going to find out whether or not premium is still key, especially when it comes to these type of sets. Mm, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Yes, I do feel like that this set is good. So I think that the pull rates are fantastic. Uh, the value of this set is dwindling quite rapidly. Uh, if I'm being honest, across the board, pretty much everything has been going down as... It does with every single set. We, we you know, we can't deny. Volvo and Skies was the same. Volvo and Skies came out, all the cards were dropping in price. It just happens, right? It just happens. So, we'll see. Uh, I do feel this is still a strong, shiny set. I do feel like it is better than Shining Fates. Uh, worse than Hidden Fates. The poor rates of these aren't actually that bad. Uh, aren't actually that good. We've had, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I've got one, two, three, four packs left. So, I've opened up 11 packs and got six hits. Now, normally, that would be pretty good. But for Palais and Fates, that's kind of poor. I hate, I hate to break it to it. You know, it's 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 kind of poor. I want to I know your guys' thoughts on what's the best product to open out of Palais and Fates so far. For me, I still think it's got to be those triple blisters. They were absolutely stacked, to be fair. They were absolutely amazing. Um, but these uh, tins, not great, guys. I mean, 15 packs uh, from what I've been getting recently from the other products. I would expect to run about 12 hits, which sounds crazy. I know it sounds absolutely crazy. You might be thinking, wow, really? Honestly, you know, from, from, from what I've opened up myself and on the streams, hello, speaking of, oh, we got a Clod Sire. All right, not the best full art shiny there. You know, I would love to have the Mew. That's my full art shiny of choice, just because I really like shiny Mew. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, two packs left to go. I uh, definitely not got my money's worth. These tins... Uh, cost me 75 in total is it really worth it uh, as it stands right now no um but it's just the way it goes i mean you pretty much open up near enough any product and you're not going to be really getting your money's worth it's just the way it goes unless you pull something absolutely you know 
massive. Uh, this Whimsicott is stuck on something. Is it a hit? Is it not? Is it a reverse? These ones are sticking, which is kind of strange. Hang on a second. There you go. See, it keeps getting stuck on the baby shinies. How strange. We've got Pelipper baby, baby shiny. We've had these quite a lot, actually. They keep sticking to the uh, other card. Kind of weird. Right, last pack. Let me know your thoughts, guys, down in the comments, whether or not these tins are definitely worth it. If you had better luck than me, I'd like to know. I've yet to pull Special Illustration Rare from Palaean Fates. We're going to go through it this style. Let's see if we can get anything good to finish it off. Hey, a Charizard EX. I've now pulled this like three or four times now. Uh, I nearly have a play set of Charizards. That's not the Charizard I'm looking for. Uh, but we did get a decent amount of hits. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of 15 packs. Can't complain. Not as good pull rates as the others. Um, but still pretty solid. I mean, we've got one EX. Um, we have one, two, three, four baby shinies, three EXs, and two full arts. So uh, no, unfortunately, no special illustration or gold this time, um, but still not too bad. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments on the tins. Uh, I kind of feel like just buy the Charizard tin if you want to keep anything sealed. Kind of ignore the others. It's not really worth it. All rates are okay, uh, you know, not as good as some of the other products out there, but still pretty good compared to other sets as well. Overall, would I collect these tins? No, not really. Just the Charizard is fine for me. I wouldn't really bother with anything else. If you want to see me open up the mini tins whilst talking about what else is very good, do buy and pick up and invest in with Paladin Face. Make sure to click the video on the screen right now. If you watch more Pokemon content, guys, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, that's it from me in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are the legends. I'm going to see you in the next one.